I've been assassin. I write the way you swing a trend, you think you rock I write the tank, hawk stuff, sound like you're fine. I write our team with my. Hey, what's up, my loungies? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video is allegedly less talk. Disclaimer, I do not condone in any form of bullying or violence on this platform. Anything in this video is for information purposes and also entertainment purposes only. Okay, pay attention. Pay attention. This platform also consists of celebrity drama, rumors, opinions, roasting, and tea, which some shade. So if you are sensitive to people's opinions, this will not be the platform for you. So in today's segment, we are going to be talking about Lotto. Okay, she defended Cardi, she's shading Ice Spice, and we got Krishan, and we have Jiggy, okay, with some devastating news. Um, but before we get into the tea and all the mess, please make sure to like this video. Now we got Lotto and Cardi. Y'all know they've been having a close bond, they've been building whatever type of friendship they have going on, and... Lotto is putting her foot down because Cardi is not there to defend herself, so she is defending for Cardi. Now, y'all gonna see the video clip, okay? And after y'all see the video and y'all hear what Lotto had to say, let me know how y'all feel about it down in the comments below. Was she right or was she wrong? Stealing my lingo, okay, Cardi okay, ain't okay. Still, okay. Huh? okay, 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 what? yeah. Huh? What's your name again? Yeah. Lil Ferro. Oh. Big Ferro. She like, Cardi, what? What you talking about? Who you talking about? You ain't even gonna even try to do that right now, is what she trying to tell him. She like, homeboy, listen, get up out of here. Okay, you're not gonna do that. Now, is she right or is she wrong? Let me know. For even trying to address it, now this is not even it. Let's get into this next clip. Cardi ain't here, but I'm here. Okay, and I'm a step behind okay, Cardi. Okay, twin. What you say about her? She stole my lingo. Okay, no, okay, did, okay. Though. And my dance, and Philly dance. She's talking about some, this my shit go like this. That don't look the same. You could tell Lotto is not playing. Her faces and her energy. She like, no she didn't. That dance wasn't even the same dance. I don't know if he's trolling. He won a little moment because he know Lotto and Cardi is cool. I don't know if he's a barb. I don't know. But he's giving off very much, he's doing it on purpose. Okay, because why did you even have to bring up Cardi? Like, I'm confused. Oh, she did like that. No, so Working what? Working the hips. No, no. All in the hips. I mean, what it's you, easy. What you, what you do for a living? Perform on the train, Marco. I'm not endorsing on Cardi B. This. They can go to me. Damn. Yeah, no. All right, so let me know for real, for real. Do you think that that was staged? Or do you think that he genuinely went in there trying to be funny or just in general just was doing whatever and didn't intentionally try to be funny? Let me know how y'all feel about it down in the comments below. I mean, if Lotto and Cardi is cool and she's not going to tolerate anybody trying to lie on her name, disrespect her or whatever the case may be in front of her, then she's entitled to speak up if she felt like she needed to do so. But let me know down in the comments, do you think that Cardi would do the same thing for Lotto? Let me know. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe. Now Lotto also, in that same segment, but just a different part, has something to say with Cuzzo. Cuzzo was performing and Lotto has some things to say about her and it's regarding Ice Spice. A lot of them really thick. Like, really thick. What it is? That's it. It gives me, um, I'm an like actress on the side. Yeah. I don't know what was going on with that. It was like, I'm so cute. Cruh. So Cuzzo says, definitely don't give Ice Spice, but comment which song y'all like more. Yes, she posted other songs on her IG, basically saying Ice Spice where. Now we're going to get into some of the comments under that post. I love you, Cuzzo, but it goes, give Ice Spice, laugh out loud. I don't think she meant it the way you've taken it. Honestly, I thought she was playing around, and at the moment, honestly, it was giving Ice Spice, but your music is fire. She did say you was pretty as freak, and that's facts. But yeah, I don't agree with the Ice Spice comment. She said, yes, I appreciate her for that. Okay, so she is accepting the comment. 
compliments, but she's not going for the ice spice. But that's what you gave in the interview, though. Your shit came a little harder. Right, she should have just been herself and just been serious. I don't know. Kind of do give ice spice when she first came out. Okay, so some people are agreeing under her post. But you was on there whispering and stuff sounding like little spice. I'm so cute. Gra. <laughs> do give ice spice. It says do give ice spice. When Lotto said, yeah, I'm pretty gra. I'm pretty gra. Like she definitely was sounding like that. The energy was just giving that. I mean, it is what it is. People was on line talking about something. Lotto's still dragging it. She's really big mad that it listen, just because one person who started it, in my opinion, wants to finish doesn't mean the other person has to abide by those rules. You know what I'm saying? There's no rules to oh, it's a limit. We stop right here. This day. This time. We stop. No, it don't work that way. Lotto felt how she felt. And if she wants to drag it out and it's a hip hop thing and it's a you know, a competition, then let her do that. Oh, you get it. Yeah, right. You could tell she was not having it, but when it comes to Ice Spice, we're going to get into a quick update because while everything else is going on, Miss Icy Spicy, okay, was sitting next to a special someone. Can I guess? Madonna. Look how she's sitting there with Madonna. Why are they just sitting there like that? Look so stiff and the energy is just serious. But I don't know. I guess congratulations to Ice Spice. You know, she's, you know, becoming to get into these certain spaces. And a lot of people was like, what the hell did Ice Spice do so special for her to get all this attention? Can y'all guess why down in the comments below? Can anybody guess? Is it because of her music? Is it because of the fat butt twerking? What can it be? Because we barely see her personality. And she barely has any stage presence. But I want everybody to, and that's just my opinion. But I just want everybody to let me know, what makes Ice Spice this person to sit next to Madonna? Because y'all know Madonna is just, people just think of Madonna as a, oh, like, I just don't know. Some people be just glorifying these celebrities. Like, it's just nuts to me. <laughs> now, y'all know Krishan's mother has a drug addiction problem, okay? She has an addiction problem. Now, clearly, her mother's still going through it. And y'all already know, Krishan and her mother has not had the best relationship. We've seen how she talks and how she do her mother on the reality TV, on whatever videos we've seen. And it just don't be given. We understand your mother is struggling. We understand that it's hard for you. And you are the celebrity with all this money and fame, right? You would think that she would do more. But let's just get into this. Mommy, you did your best, and I love you. I'm praying for a restoration. I love, 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 love you. Amen, amen, amen. So do anyone know about any great marriage rehabs in DMV, please? DM them, Heavenly Father, we came before you today to lift up Mommy, Carla, in prayer. We ask for your healing touch upon her life, that she may be freed from the grip of addiction and restored to wholeness. Grant her the strength to overcome the challenges she faces and fill her heart with your peace and hope. Surround her with a supportive community that reflects your love and grace, guiding her towards a path of recovery and renewal. Provide wisdom and guidance to those who care for her, that they may offer the support and understanding needed during this journey. We trust in your power to heal and transform, believing in your promises for a future filled with hope. May mommy experience your boundless love and mercy. Finding solace is strength in your presence. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. These pictures gave me motivation to do my best as her baby, to keep her faith for restor restoration, and to not give up on her. I don't care how many times she walked out of a rehab, that's my mama. The best we can do is try again. Fun fact, amen means I agree. When two or more come to an agreement or just an agreement with God in general, the Lord's strength backs the prayer of agreement. Jesus is the one who told us if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. 
Now, she also want to let y'all know that Krishan Jesus Porter is his name. It isn't Junior anymore. Just letting y'all know. Thanks. I mean, did you legally get it changed? Because if you didn't legally get it changed, I mean, we understand that's what you prefer at the moment until you change it legally. But everybody on the internet know him as Krishan Jr., okay? Like, girl, the whole internet is not the gun once you just switch up because you say so. Unless you provide proof you changed his name, people are going to say whatever they want to say. But let's get back into her mother and the situation. That is a sad situation. I understand that she's probably going through a lot and her other siblings because they share the same mother, right? We know addiction is something very hard to get over. It's either you try and get through it, and then you try and then you relapse, or you're just too far gone in it that you end up overdosing or something really serious, okay? So let's just hope that everything go good over there. Krishan said she's going to do it over because we know she wasn't really doing much before. She was complaining about a lot of things. Um, but this time she's saying that she's going to keep trying. She's not going to give up on her like she did before. Okay. So we shall see how this goes because in these certain situations, these addicts need somebody that has like a a strong minded. Okay. And that's not going to give up and has a lot of patience. I don't think Krishan has that mother or not. I don't think she has that. So we shall see how that goes. (laughs) This is Jiggy for the ones who do not know. This is Blueface and Jaden Alexis ex-girlfriend yes they had a polygamy relationship once upon a time but she has some devastating news that's regarding S.A. okay it's been four weeks since my S.A. harassment okay I called for an update on my case and the case is already closed without me getting a call from a detective or a call from anyone My restraining order was also dismissed. For what reason? I have no clue. I have no protection or safety. I'm being watched and people are being paid to get information from me. I do not feel safe. I cannot sleep or function. My mental health has declined drastically and my paranoia has increased drastically. I'm not being heard or seen and this is why I was scared to speak up. I'm praying that somebody will help me okay this is very concerning and the business i work for who hired somebody back to manage us who they had already fired before for sa misconduct was not has not contacted me at all pertaining this situation instead fired the people who spoke up for me there's a lot of freaked up stuff going on and money being thrown around so that i'm not heard i'm in complete shock Never in my life did I think some stuff would go down like this. Then right here is a text message that said, this is what I text my manager after he essayed me. And I kept calling out for work because I couldn't bear being around him. And this was the response I got, even though he told everyone he fired me and my mom. I will no longer be coming into the bar since what happened on Thursday. I don't feel comfortable. I no longer am working there. I accept your... Your resignation, I'll send final paycheck with your mother. And then he says her name. What? Okay. And all the women he pays for SEX that allow it and that he pays bills for that allow it that are covering up for him. Shame on you. By the way, this isn't the first time he's done this. Do your research. I was driving to a dark, I was driven to a dark alley and barricaded in a truck by a man. Me and my mom trusted why he had a firearm and I was violated. How could this not be investigated? Just in case. So she's putting it out there. I don't know if she's saying just in case, you know, somebody harms her or whatever the case may be. That is a scary situation. It's not a good situation to be in at all. I'm pretty sure of it. Okay. My thing is why they didn't investigate it. Like, what is going on over there? I feel like we need names. I feel like we need pictures so this can just get pushed out a little bit more um, so it can get investigated at least. Because we don't need these monsters out here walking around just doing all willy-nilly to whoever they want to because they're threatening them or they have some type of power 
or whatever the case may be is weird. So hopefully something, you know, happens on her end um, where they investigate and he get arrested and, you know, and they do, you know, all that stuff they need to do over there. But anyway, let me know how y'all feel about that. What you think she should do. Let me know down in the comments below. What is your advice for Jiggy? Okay. Now, let me know how you feel about Lotto. You know, defending Cardi. Um, Lotto, you know, slightly, you know, throwing jabs at Ice Spice. And her, gra, I'm pretty, gra. <laughs> that was funny. I ain't gonna lie. I like my, uh, my, um, my wife Lotto. I don't care. Um... Krishan and her mom, her addiction, and, you know, things that she had to say. And what do you think she's going to do? You think she's going to stand by her words? And how do you feel about the Jiggy situation? So at the end of the day, this video is a wrap, okay? And if y'all want me to talk about anything, hit up my Instagram, Oni Toxic Tea Lounge, okay? Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and click the notification bell. Okay, so when I drop, y'all know. Okay, let's run it up, my loungies. I'll see y'all in the next one. To the loop, bye. I brought a G wagon, that shit was a rabbit, that's why I be racing. Yeah, we brought the full door, had to get ready for.